Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Ever wondered how hackers can access your phone without even touching it? Like, literally, they don't need your phone in their hands. But in the real world, it's a serious threat. And it all boils down to something called SS7 attacks. Today, we're diving deep into the mysterious world of SS7 attacks. We'll break down what SS7 is, how hackers exploit it to gain access to your phone, and most importantly, what you can do to protect yourself. This is some serious tech, so buckle up, we're going in. Okay, so before we get into the whole hacking thing, we need to understand what SS7 actually is. It's a term that gets thrown around a lot in discussions about telecommunications and security, but not everyone knows what it really means. Don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with a bunch of technical jargon. Instead, let's break it down in a way that's easy to understand. SS7 stands for Signaling System No. 7. Catchy, right? But what does that actually mean? Basically, it's like the backbone of our phone networks. Imagine it as the central nervous system of telecommunications, ensuring that all the different parts of the network can communicate with each other seamlessly. Think of it as the invisible network behind the network. It's not something you see, but it's always there, working tirelessly to keep everything running smoothly. Whenever you make a call, send a text, or even just use your phone data, SS7 is working behind the scenes to make it all happen. It's like the unsung hero of the telecom world. It handles things like routing calls, connecting you to different networks, and even stuff like billing. Without SS7, our modern communication system simply wouldn't function. It's been around since the 80s, and it's super complex with tons of different protocols and stuff. Back then, the focus was on making sure the system worked efficiently, not necessarily on making it secure. And that complexity is part of the problem. The more complex a system is, the more potential there is for vulnerabilities to be exploited. You see, back when SS7 was designed, security wasn't really a top priority. The designers didn't anticipate the kind of threats we face today, like cyber attacks and sophisticated hacking techniques. They didn't anticipate the kind of threats we face today. In today's world, where cyber threats are constantly evolving, the security weaknesses in SS7 have become a significant concern. Hackers can exploit these vulnerabilities to intercept calls, read text messages, and even track the location of mobile phones. This is why understanding SS7 is so important not just for tech experts, but for anyone who uses a phone. So we've got this complex system that's responsible for connecting pretty much every phone call and text message on the planet. Sounds pretty important, right? The problem is, SS7 has some vulnerability security holes that hackers can exploit to gain access to your phone and your data. One major vulnerability is that SS7 doesn't really verify who's making a request. So a hacker can basically impersonate your phone on the network. This means they can intercept your calls and messages, track your location, and even steal your personal information. All without you ever knowing what's going on. It's kind of like someone breaking into the post office and rerouting all your mail. Except in this case, it's your phone calls, texts, and even your location data. Chapter 3. How they actually hack you. All right, let's get into the nitty-gritty of how these SS7 attacks actually work. SS7, or signaling system number 7, is a protocol suite used in most of the world's public switch telephone networks to exchange information and manage calls. It's an essential part of how our phones communicate with each other, but it's also a system that has some vulnerabilities. Don't worry, I'll keep it simple. Imagine SS7 as the behind-the-scenes traffic controller for all phone calls and text messages. It ensures that your call gets connected to the right person and that your text message reaches its intended recipient. But like any system, it can be exploited. First, the hacker needs to gain access to the SS7 network. This network is supposed to be secure, but there are ways to infiltrate it. Hackers can exploit weaknesses in the network's security protocols or even gain access through compromised telecom companies. This used to be really difficult. But these days, there are ways to buy access on the dark web. The dark web is a hidden part of the internet where illegal activities often take place. Here, hackers can purchase access to SS7 networks from other cyber criminals. 
making it easier than ever to launch an attack. Once they're in, they can use special software to send commands to the network, pretending to be your phone. This software allows them to manipulate the network in various ways, such as intercepting your calls and messages, or even tracking your location. It's kind of like using cheat codes in a video game. Just as cheat codes give players an unfair advantage, these commands give hackers the ability to bypass normal security measures and gain unauthorized access to your information. For example, they can send a command to forward all your incoming calls to their phone. This means that any call you receive will be redirected to the hacker, allowing them to listen in on your conversations without you even knowing. Or they can request your location data from the network. By doing this, they can track your movements in real time, knowing exactly where you are at any given moment. And the scariest part? You probably won't even notice it's happening. Your phone will continue to function as usual, making it incredibly difficult to detect that anything is wrong. Your phone will seem like it's working normally, but in the background, all your data is being sent to the hacker. This includes your text messages, call logs, and even your browsing history. It's a silent and invisible attack that can have serious consequences for your privacy and security. Chapter 4 This actually happened. You might be thinking, okay, this all sounds pretty crazy, but does this stuff actually happen in real life? The answer, unfortunately, is yes. Back in 2017, there was a major attack on German banks that used SS7 vulnerabilities. Hackers were able to intercept SMS messages containing two-factor authentication codes, allowing them to steal money from people's bank accounts. And that's just one example. There have been reports of SS7 attacks being used to spy on journalists, activists, and even government officials. It's a serious problem, and it's only going to get worse as hackers become more sophisticated. Chapter 5. How to Protect Yourself Okay, so now that you know how serious this is, let's talk about what you can do to protect yourself from SS7 attacks. SS7 vulnerabilities can be exploited by hackers to intercept your calls and messages, track your location, and even steal your personal information. But don't worry, there are several steps you can take to safeguard your privacy and security. The first line of defense is to use encrypted messaging apps whenever possible. These apps encrypt your messages, making it extremely difficult for anyone to intercept and read them. Apps like Signal, WhatsApp and Telegram are excellent choices. They use end-to-end -end encryption, which means that even if a hacker intercepts your messages, they won't be able to read them. This encryption ensures that only you and the person you're communicating with can read the messages. Additionally, these apps often come with other security features, such as self-destructing messages and screen security, which add extra layers of protection to your communications. You should also enable two-factor authentication on all your important accounts. Two-factor authentication, or 2FA, requires you to provide two forms of identification before you can access your account. This could be something you know, like a password, and something you have, like a code sent to your phone. This adds an extra layer of security, making it much harder for hackers to gain access to your accounts, even if they do manage to intercept your SMS messages. By requiring a second form of verification, 2FA significantly reduces the risk of unauthorized access. Finally, stay informed about security updates and patches for your phone and apps. Cybersecurity is an ever-evolving field, and new vulnerabilities are discovered all the time. By keeping your software up to date, you ensure that you have the latest protections against these threats. These updates often include fixes for security vulnerabilities, so it's important to install them as soon as possible. Regularly checking for updates and installing them promptly can protect you from potential exploits and keep your data secure. Remember, your security is in your hands, and taking these steps can make a significant difference in protecting your personal information. Outro Stay Safe Out There So, that's how hackers can hack your phone without touching it using SS7 attacks. It's a complex issue, but hopefully this video has given you a better understanding of how it all works and what you can do to protect yourself. The good news is that there are steps you can take to mitigate the risks. By using encrypted messaging apps, enabling two-factor authentication, and staying up-to-date on security updates, you can make yourself a much harder target for hackers.
Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech insights. And stay safe out there in the digital world.